Okay, so here we go. We're going to do a quick rundown of the metric system. Right now, my computer is not allowing me to record while using the mouse. So I'm recording it on the phone, and you're going to be watching me click through the computer PowerPoint. Okay, so here we go, the metric system. And the metric system is based off factors of 10, which we'll get into in a minute. Conversion between units are the same. So it doesn't matter if we're talking about meters or liters or grams. It's still the conversions will be the same. We're just going to have a different ending, which is like kilograms, kiloliters, right? Uh, we say kilometers, but it's kilometers. The ending is different, but the conversion between the units is the same, and it's all based off 10. And we're going to use prefixes to make this happen. And it's easier than the U.S. system. For instance, when we talk about feet, and I say, hey, how many feet are in a, a yard? And you got to go, oh, 36 feet in a yard. So 36 equals one yard. But if I asked you how many inches are in a foot, you would go, oh, well, 12 equals one. So we're no longer on the same system of factors of 10. 12 equals one, and then 36 equals one. And then how many feet are in a mile, 5,280, is nowhere as close to being a common sense number. So we're going to see that this is much faster and easier. Using what we use is a metric conversion chart. And it's going to be kilos, hecto, deca. The base units right here are the three main base units that we're going to use in our class are liters, meters, and grams. Then you have deci, centi, and milli. Um, and in, in math class, you're going to learn this little mnemonic to help you remember this. And it's Katie Hershey's dad makes, likes, and gulps for the base units, delicious chocolate milk. And that'll help you remember kilo, because Katie Hershey's dad makes, likes, gulps, your meters, liters, and grams delicious chocolate milk. And the truth is, you could always go and find one of these charts or go back and watch this video and do this. And I'm going slow so you can watch the video while you're doing your lab and get some of these answers figured out. And all we're going to do to convert from a larger unit is move the decimal in this direction. And to go to a smaller unit, we move our decimal in this direction. So let's take a look at what some of these units will be. Here's all the prefixes, right? Kilo, is this still going to be a lowercase k? Hecto is an H. Deca is D-A. Deci is D. Centi is C. And milli is M. And then our base units that we were talking about, the likes, makes, and gulps, right here, meters, liters, and grams, and then there's also seconds and Celsius, but we don't. When we talk about time and temperature, we really don't use uh, too many times in our science class where we're going to be using the prefixes in front of it. Sometimes for milliseconds, we'll do that, but it's very rare. It's length, volume, and mass, meters, liters, and grams, and you'll notice the capital L. Right. So here we go. Let's practice converting. Let's convert 78 centimeters. Centis right here. The little m is the base unit, right? Meter. So centimeters is right here. And we want to convert to millimeters. So we have 78 centimeters, and we want to go over and say how many millimeters is that. Right? And it says convert to a small unit, move decimal point to the right, or multiply by 10. We'll forget multiplying, we'll just move it to the right. So here we go, 78, move a decimal place one over, fill it with a zero, we would have 780 millimeters. That's all it is. Converting centimeters back to the base unit of a meter is one, two steps away. So we move our decimal point one, two spots, that would be 0 0.063 meters. Okay. That's the basic idea of conversion. 
If you need help, give con- contact myself or Mrs. Han, and we will go over some of them with you. Before you know it, you'll be a pro. Have a great day.